Thank you. <laughs> I tried. Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm a seventh grader at Westside Middle School. We're all misfits, and my poem is currently untitled. Seven was one of the hardest years of my life. I constantly felt like I was trying to sing a high note upside down. Everyone around me screaming, spinning like a vortex. Me, struggling to be a child, to get people to be childish with me. I had a best friend who wanted to be an architect, and she was more of a child than I could ever hope to be. Her room smelled of graham crackers, Mine of pet frog. Her nails were unicorns, holographically enhanced. Mine were ripped up dragon scales. Her playhouse was fit for a princess. All I had was a worm infested tree. A dream is a wish your heart makes. I know you're thinking, yeah, right. Well, she had my dream life. Not because of the room, the nails, or the playhouse. She simply wasn't a quadruplet. In fact, she only had one brother, a single, solitary sibling. And both of her parents were around. That year was designed by engineers from ancient Pisa, leaning like the scales that tipped when my mom died. Without her, I was as out of place as Lakira face wash for hand lotion the lone girl in a house of boys. One summer, we had four babysitters because no one wants to babysit quadruplets, especially not quadruplets that contain three boisterous boys. I'd lie awake each night, checking my clock the way a librarian checks in books, waiting for my dad to get home from his late night nursing shift because if he was okay, then everything was okay. At 13, I still think 2015 was one of the best years of music because dad had that playlist of Taylor Swift songs that he'd turn on when he helped me with my hair every morning. I have an excellent father. His strength is making me stronger. After four years of being a girl in a house full of boys, I thought my family was broken, but it was just new ground being broken inside of me. Dad meets someone who has three daughters. There is hope, and I don't even have to look for it. They get engaged, and I'm not a loner anymore. I am squashed in the exact middle of a screaming, spinning family, and I love it. Now, home smells like the goulash that all of us smush around the table to eat. It smells like the rose-scented makeup that my stepmom seems to have an endless supply of. And it smells like old blankets that your dog uses more than you do. That sure does beat graham crackers and frogs. <laughs>